All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to CanCast episode number 638. I'm your host, GBD, here in Long Island, New York. And as always, we're joined by a man who's so popular, he has his own Twitch emote. Wombat! I, I almost threw up while I was saying that. I went, Bleh. Right. Doing a live show on Twitch, the first time, first live show since episode 500? Oh, Wombat, can anyone not hear Wombat? How's the audio, people in the chat? Wombat is muted. No, no, no. No, it's not, it's not muted. I'm only broadcasting my, oh, I know why. Sorry, guys. Here we go, here we go. Look, watch this, watch this. Now talk, see? now talk. Oh, can everyone hear me? Yes. Oh, man. Yeah. They already missed all the jokes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I got it. Don't worry. I got it. it. You know what? It'll be, it gives people a reason to listen to the first minute and 15 seconds on, in their regular podcast feed and not right. just the live show. We're double dipping that way. Exactly. <laughs> get those get numbers up. edition. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The problem was when we had the starting screen up before. People could hear Shipwreck talking. <laughs> so I turned Shipwreck off. Apparently, it stayed off when I went live. That's where the system broke down. So you're saying that when you turned something off and never turned it back on, it stayed off and that surprised you? I, yes. That's, okay, just checking. I just want to make sure that it's we're... It's a complicated setup here, Wombat. You don't understand what's going on. <laughs> I know you, Wombat helped me test earlier and he was doing his best to help me test, but it... I, all I needed really was just a connection to a computer, to, but you're, yeah. but it was helpful. Sorry. Thank you. I appreciate it. I don't want to get, I don't want to go dark before like two minutes in. That's okay. No, it helped. I mean, we couldn't have done it. We did this. We put this all together in a day Yep. and look at this production value. I know. I was just <laughs> adjusting my, my view of you guys. Hi, Shipwreck. Hi, Wombat. You know, I don't feel like you haven't said anything yet. So I was, I, I was I've said a few it. things. I was admiring your grunge outfit. Thank you. I know. I'm, I put on a shirt over. I felt like just wearing a T-shirt was it was, I guess, you know, not inappropriate, but I was wearing just a plain T-shirt. It didn't say anything cool like your guys' T-shirts. So I don't know. Right. Yeah. Sorry, I'm editing the um, I'm trying to make the, the video look better. But I've, put, I've gone into studio <laughs> it, mode. It and looks fine, I think. Yeah, I think you're fine. Shit, I'm... people want to know what beer you're drinking. Oh, this is a uh, Rheingeist Truth. It's an IPA. That's made up. That does sound made up. It's Rhein, Rheingeist's Was that na beer. Nazi beer? Um, I think it's anti-Nazi beer. That's okay, it. good. That's, yep, right here on the label, anti-Nazi. <laughs> good, good job. <laughs> there we go. Now I got, now I got the video good. Okay. I'm drinking purified drinking water. From our friends at Target. Yes. Well, welcome to the show. This is, you know, this is E3 week right now. Or no, next week. Next week. Would it? Well, this would have been our pre-3 show. Pre-3. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. This would have been the pre-3 show. I almost would have been packing by this point. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you guys would have been mad at me for having not uh, gone. Wait, I thought you were going this year. Where I probably, going? Actually, yeah, I would have gone, but... We'll, we'll go with that. Yeah, I would have been there. It would have been awesome. We would have had a good time. I'm disappointed that you weren't going to go. I don't know. He's Why weren't go. you going this year? Well, who, well, actually, the, it's been such a weird year. Who knows? Who knows what would have happened? <laughs> I can't really say one you way been or eaten, another. eaten by a dinosaur on the way to the airport anyway. So Yeah, it's like, who knows? Like, this is the strangest year on record. So Right. Well, I want to tell everybody in the chat that uh, we are raising some money here for the color of change. So any, any Twitch money that comes to the channel or you can donate directly through the link in the chat, uh, that'll all go through to color of change. And you see we have a little uh, thing on top of the screen, that, that little uh, donation bar, very professional. So uh, you can look up uh, what they're all about on their website. Cool. So I... Uh, I have to apologize in advance. I planned on putting a lot more content on the outline, but I had a small medical emergency right before the show. What was your small medical emergency right before the show? I, it happened again where I was cooking with 
spicy peppers and I touch my pee pee. And what I I don't want to be where you're cooking things if while no, you're no, cooking no. you're touching your pee pee. No, 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 no. I touch my pee pee when I go to the bathroom to make a pee pee. The problem was you really have to like scrub your hands clean with when you're cooking with peppers. These were poblano peppers, so I wasn't that worried. But they I was say, did you did you make uh, pork tacos? <laughs> I did, I did. I had that tonight as well. <laughs> I made that tonight as well. I put a picture in the uh, Discord in the K Oh, Discord fantastic! Channel. I'm glad we we all pre fueled the same yeah, way with the same with the same meal. And, and, and your penises are, were fine, is what you're saying. Well, the thing is, you shouldn't get that sensation from Poblano peppers. It was spicy. It was very spicy today. I don't believe you. Once in it a while, like... they're spicy. I was sweating mm. while I was eating them. That was before the I, That incident. sounds like an excuse for just having a, a sensitive wiener. Right. That's what it, I was thinking. You know, it might be... Your wiener can't handle a Poblano. Yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> if you said jalapeno, I would have been like, no. Sure. That, just a couple of weeks ago, I did the jalapeno eye thing. And that's the worst. Right. And because I was like screaming and I had to fill like, you know, you take a cup and you fill it with water and you stick it on your face like a goober <laughs> and you just hang out there until the pain goes away. I had to do that. And then three hours later, I had forgotten and touched my eye again. And twice in the same night, I had to do the cup and the eyeball because, you know, I'm a genius. Yeah. It, the penis hurts pretty good. Yeah. Well, yeah. I can imagine. You could also stick that in water. I did. I, mean, I took a shower. I had to take a shower. Yeah. Well, that's one Even way. Even though to do I took it. one or, today. Or you could just take like a cup and fill it with water, or in my case, a pitcher. Fill no, it with water. Was, you know what the problem is? Thanks for stepping on my joke. Oh, sorry, go, ahead. go ahead. I'm sorry. No, go, no, go no, back, no, no, no. He already, he already told it. I oh, told it. Good. Good. I'm glad I stepped on it. Wombat's the Kool Aid man over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I think I used my big tablet too much, and that's what the problem was. Yeah. Things are there a little raw. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't like that contact with the poblano. Anyway, no. too much Long Island Lolita for you. No, no. <laughs> no I couldn't get off Amy Fisher's page fast enough. I almost put my <laughs> finger through the screen trying to close that window. Yep. Um, I was gonna lecture Wombat about looking at the chat. I was gonna say we have to set some rules for the show, but I think everything's going fine so far. So maybe we don't need to have any rules. <laughs> I wrote set the rules on the outline, but maybe we don't need any rules. Wow, it's like uh, Passover. <laughs> Wait, that's not what happens at Passover. Yeah, these, this night, uh, no on rules? most nights, we have rules. On this night, we don't. Right, and we yeah. turn the table over. Exactly. Put all the food on it. Mm -hmm. People are playing bingo in the chat. There's a, there's a, did you see the CADCAST bingo board? Oh, I didn't. I had to put my little oh, light that's starting on though. to play with stuff now. no don't look yeah stop playing that's okay we do have to set the rules <laughs> the rules are don't play with things stay focused and what else don't look at the chat too much once in a while you can check in but don't you know stay, stay focused, focused on the show. even when you're not talking. i just wanted to put the little light on behind me that's all i'm done <laughs> okay it's not that big a deal okay good go 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 back you you set up a nice outline what's next oh um i want are you sending your kids to camp this summer uh, we got the, well, the, the governor said this week that day camps in New York are opening on June 29th. Okay. And both of my children, I mean, we sign up for day camp in September, like the day camp ends. We sign up for camp the following year. Okay. And for all, of, as of right now, we do plan on sending our kids to day camp. Okay. They yes. are part of, they're regulated by the state. It's, you know, partially publicly funded, I believe. So it's a non-for-profit. So they have, d you know, different rules they have to follow. They're CDC monitored for everything that's going on. Right. And from what I've been told, about one-third the amount of kids as normal are going to be there anyway. What about sleepaway camp? Would you Sleepaway uh, camps are all closed. Not in – what about Pennsylvania where Ty goes? All closed. In Pennsylvania? Yeah. Oh. They're still accepting applications. Ty's really looking forward to it. He's like trying to get all of his friends going. He's writing the guy emails by himself. He's writing the camp director emails. Like he really wants to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I mean, we, de I mean, my children haven't really been outside in three, four months. It feels like, has it been three months? It's, uh, who knows? Three yeah. years. And you know, the, knowing that they'll be in a very wide open safe space, 
where there are going to be people trained to handle this situation. I feel Viruses? like huh? <laughs> these people are trying to clean We should get things. these people out and to everybody then. Yeah, you'd, you'd think. Pay for it. That's that's <laughs> it's not free. <laughs> right. I don't know. I just would shipwreck. Would you send your kid to summer camp? No fucking way. Mm-hmm. He's shaking his head. No way. No, my, my kids aren't going anywhere. Right. Oh, yeah. Shit. I mean, it's just it's like I, it's it's a very weird situation. On one hand, yes. Am I nervous as hell? Of course I am. I'm a human being. Right. On the other hand, do I want my kids outside for the summer? As opposed to locked up indoors for another two months. I mean, ugh. yeah. Right, I know. I want him to go, but we'll see. It's guess, tough. Yeah. It's tough. And again, as soon as some, if some, you know, God forbid something happens, the whole camp's just gonna shut down. So, right. It's, he's. It's not the camp is not in in China or something. It's, it's yeah. Pennsylvania. Yeah. Oh no. Right it's there. yeah. It's two ten minutes now. away. But it's also one of the largest campgrounds on the island. It's it's huge. A lot of other day camps are closing because a lot of day camps on Long Island are small, you know, space wise. So they can't fit that many people. This camp just happens to be gigantic. Ty's going to be devastated. He's going to be devastated. I mean, I'm I'm in a different Twitch channel, I think, this summer. Otherwise, he's going to just lose (laughs) his mind. I'm in a different situation, though, where I naturally, where I'm located, just have more room. And my kids are smaller. So you can just bring the camp to your backyard. I, I can. <laughs> um, are you going to get a pool? No. <laughs> what about like an inflatable pool? Really big one. I've seen someone. I Those are impossible to get. Oh, they're all gone. Yeah, right, they're all right, gone. Right. I, heard, I read about that. Uh, pools, yeah. Everyone's pools are in demand. Mm-hmm. My but, kids are small enough so that I can just get the little kiddie pool out there. And nice. They're, they're so, fine with that. Right. Uh, but. We we did, we we bought a cabin since the last show. <laughs> oh, that's right! I forgot about that. Is this like a, like an Armageddon type situation cabin, like Escape from Society? A, a little bit. It's it's our COVID retreat. COVID it's retreat. It's the okay. uh, your instead of going on vacations and flying somewhere, now we have a place where we can go and go on the weekends, and it's about two hours away from us. So. Nice. Go to it's the like cabin. Hamptons. It is. The it's Hamptons nice. Hamptons of Ohio. Um, now, now, Wombat has no excuses for visiting because as long there's, as there's the, no cat hair in the cabin. I've there's, said there's no cats in the cabin. <laughs> Can you then, then, take our cats? <laughs> perfect. Shit, bring a little cat hair. Just you know. <laughs> like a little vial of it. Bag, a little baggy. Spread it on his bed, <laughs> wherever he's gonna sleep at. <laughs> nice. So no, uh, that's it. that's big news. It is. Kind of out of the blue, but um, yeah, it should be fun. You guys well, should should come sometime. I, I will. Mm-hmm. That sounds good. I was telling Mrs. Chibi, she still wants to visit your house. She, I don't think I think she's more interested in visiting your actual house than I don't know. I'm not sure where she is on that actually. She definitely wants to check out the regular house though. I she's welcome as well. Right. He wants to check everybody's out everybody's welcome to <laughs> Everybody? come to Ohio. It's drivable. <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of homes, remember uh, the other day, Wombat, when you told me when I woke up in the morning and you told me that my hometown was trending on Twitter? Yeah, that was fun. I mean, not for me or you, but you know. Did you even you didn't look to even see why it was trending, right? Of course I did. Oh, you did look. Oh, because I asked and you said you didn't know. You just did. No, that I did. Fu- oh, you, yeah. I you don't said you didn't know when I, I didn't, asked you. Right? I don't think you, I said I didn't know. You just wouldn't. You weren't going to tell me. I just wasn't going to tell you. I see. Meanwhile, it's like it's really horrible. Like it really like messed me up. For it's still the like I, you know, not to like bring the show to a, stre- a screeching halt or anything, but I just want to say like you saw Merrick. <laughs> Merrick. Merrick usually were known for really positive things like Amy Fisher and <laughs> Debbie Gibson, but. You know, there was a, a Black Lives Matter uh, protest through the streets, and there were people in Merrick just like waiting on the sidewalk to counter protest them. And it really made me feel like fa- feel bad about being from Merrick and think about how you know white that town is, and how there was like one kid, one black kid in my whole high school, maybe two, 
And just like, what a shitty situation. And also like, how stupid are those people? Like, I get it. Like they don't think that they're racist. They think that they're, they're righteous and everything, but they, they so don't think about what they're doing that they do the exact thing. They don't want the protests happening in their town. Like I understand, like nobody wants anything like controversial happening, but like by doing something like that, you're just guaranteeing more of that. Yeah, it was there again. It's been there again for the last two nights, and it gets bigger and bigger every night now. Of course. Like, that's how these, these people, they don't think that they're racist. They think that they're righteous. So they don't even apply reason to just the most basic things. Like, what's the goal? Okay, we don't want people protesting in our town. So how can we avoid that? Bring a lot of attention to it by doing something, like, ridiculously racist? Or, you know, just... <sighs> it made me very sad, Wombat. I understand that. And my parents, my parents just sold their house in Merrick last, literally last week. I know. I was by your parents' new place this afternoon. You stalking them? I'm stalking them. Right. No, I had to go visit my brother, and he's he lives around the corner from them. Oh, what's going on? Why is this moving? I'm not moving that. Was I? Sorry. I don't know. I'm not watching. The video is moving. Maybe I was clicking and not even realizing it. I don't know. I'm not obeying the rules. I don't. Hold on. Yeah, I I honestly hadn't been looking at that screen until this is my first time looking at it. Sorry. I have it all perfect now. Uh, You know. And there's a big fly flying around here. Well. Anyway. It was just really bad. And Merrick, you know, and and the other thing, and Merrick was in. You know, did you read the thing about Ben and Jerry's? They put out some, like, really intense re- anti-racism statement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. pretty cool. Right. So those guys are from Merrick. They are? Yeah. But they oh. sold the company. They sold the company, like, years ago to to a huge conglomerate. But then you're like, wow, that's even, like, bold for a, you know, a conglo- you know, a big company like that. But then, of course, the company is from, from Europe. So, like, they're... <laughs> Not an American company. So is it Frugiglager? No, it's Uni, Unilever. You, is Unilever European? Right. Oh, I Wombat they were needs based more in New Jersey. Wombat, move over a little to your window. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so you, can, you can solve the problem. I got to get Shipwreck's name on the screen. Otherwise, it's going to look weird. There you go. Just lean. Uh, so anyway, Merrick, you got to get your shit together and at least like, if you're going to be racist, apply some logic to it for Christ's sake. I mean, what are you guys thinking? What? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Let's not do that either. Yeah. How about just, they just not be racist? Yeah. Right. Like that seems like of a course, pretty good of course. It's just, it's pretty good course of action. Of course. It's just do your best to not be racist. Yes. Yes. There's so always things to everything. Please. There's always things that you just inherently don't understand until you realize that you're being racist about something. That's right. That's where you learn. The issue that I've been having lately is, you know, a lot of the people in the parents groups, the local parents groups have been posting things that I don't necessarily disagree with. Some things worse than others. And these are the parents of my children's friends. Right. And it's how do you handle that situation? Do you say nothing? And then there's the other half of that situation where it's like, I don't know if I want my children associating with these children. And does that make me a bad person or do I just let it go? I honestly, don't, I, I literally don't know. I don't know the answer to these questions. Maybe, you know, you can educate your child and then your child can educate their child. I like to think that they're at, that, that I'm doing that. Hopefully. Use hypnosis. Yeah. Well, I do that anyway for other things. <laughs> you will go to bed. <laughs> right. So, so yeah, that's what's going on, and and that was been going. That's been occupying a lot, a lot of my time. I, I haven't even, I haven't been able to even watch all those Merrick videos because I watched one and I was like, I saw there were more, and I, I tapped out. It was that's how bad it was. But I did um in in more positive news. I started an online rowing class, which I really recommend if you buy a rowing machine. And it's really difficult to row properly. I mean, I'd make fun of you for spending money on garbage, but someone else on this show bought a house for no reason. So <laughs> this was only like $170 for 20 classes. And like, oh, no, you're in the clear for a while now. Yeah, <laughs> I could buy a lot of dumb shit. Ship, can I borrow some money? I got a lot of dumb shit. Anytime. I know. I, 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 I've, I've invested mine elsewhere. <laughs> yeah, well. Anyway, so uh, I've been doing this class. Shipwreck you... read that people want equity, and he got confused. 
<laughs> Did you like my, I sent Shippa and Wombat my, uh, my critiqued rowing form. The coach, you can send the rowing, your, a video of yourself rowing and he'll draw on it and tell you what you're doing wrong. I was doing everything wrong. It was pretty great. <laughs> Except I was sitting good. He said I could sit good. I, I could vouch for that. I've seen you sit. Oh, yeah, I've, I've never a had a problem sitter. with you're your sitting ability. Yeah. yeah. No, and I hunch over like this. I have to really like engage the core. Sit up like this. It's hard. That's why I'm sweating right now. Mm. Um, what else we got going on? Where are we even? Oh, I because this came up last week with my ability or inability to use tools. Okay. And I want to just tell a quick story that we bought a hammock online. I don't remember which side. It doesn't matter which side. I didn't buy it. I just happened to be home when the doorbell rang and my wife said, oh, it's that hammock I bought. So I didn't ask any questions, but I took it to the backyard and I go to put it together. And the instructions were literally it was like two steps. It's like just snap everything into place and you're all set. And I'm like, great. And I go and I'm going to put everything together and I go to put in the last pole into the other pole and I could see the dent in the base of the pole always yeah so of course it won't slide on and i'm all pissed and i'm like okay now do i have to rebox do i have to take this apart rebox it tape it up and send it back to wherever it's from and before i did that i'm like wait a minute i knew we had a dremel somewhere in the house so i you know i, I of course don't know where anything is and i had to ask but once i got the dremel i did it i actually dremel down the side where it was poking in wait dremel what what dremel what yeah, it's a like a like a little spinning dr think of like do you not course. know what a dremel is gp yeah it's, it's like a, a wheel a hanukkah you spin it and you no, that's it a dreidel <laughs> it's a oh. it's like a wheel on a on a drill and the it's wheel little, spins really fast saw. on the end of the drill yeah like a little buzz saw but this was this is more like a like a stone and you use it to smooth out the inside so i smoothed out the inside and i fixed the pipe on the hammock and we didn't have to just return it i repaired the broken hammock using power tools wow and, and i can say the hammock works wonderfully you know i don't use the word hero often wombat but you sir are the greatest hero in american history no that's a, that's an accurate statement nice work thank you thank you that's all i wanted yeah i still don't know what it is but I'm going to pretend you like really don't know what it. see. Now this is good because now people make more fun of you than me. That sounds like, yeah, at least it wasn't something. Well, you fixed it anyway. So it had a happy ending. It did. I fixed something using power tools oh. like a, like right. a real man would. Okay. Let's do some show feedback. We're like, yeah, there wasn't very much. Uh, Hufferstall just wanted uh please link to those Wi-Fi switches. I scrubbed your Twitters and couldn't find the name. So this is just a reminder that you never said, what the switches were last week no I, it's, the name is terrible i know i said it it's just you can never remember this name they designed it that way on purpose it's just like <laughs> one of those forgettable names it's cassetta is it is that correct yeah it's the the lutron cassetta yeah lutron is the name that you've heard of before that's the brand name and the model is cassetta right everybody knows lutron they just don't know what dremels are he was my favorite autobot <laughs> nice i i installed some more lutron switches Cassetta switches this week. I had an, <laughs> so, I had a professional it's a weekend oh, thing that I do every week now. It's just hey, I had a professional a... electrician in my house to install a light fixture because I wasn't going to touch any of the wires in my house. Right, nice. Mm -hmm. How's it? How is it? Where's the, is it? The light fixture behind you? No, it is not the light fixture behind me. That's been here. We got that when we moved in. Uh, we replaced the light fixture in my daughter's room because she thought the one that she had in there was a baby's light fixture, and she's a big girl. So, you know, that's what happens when they turn 12. Right. Mm -hmm. People people in the chat were complimenting my, my good lighting with my green backdrop. And I, I bought Your, one of those ring yeah. lights, mm -hmm. you know, those LED ring lights. I got that over here. 